So me and Uni are chilling at Rudy House, and Lord behold, the conversation that always comes up, sex. Okay, so we I was watching <laughs> Strange Sex. <laughs> and this woman, she was happily, and they've been having, you know, protect sex. So they want to have a kid. So he didn't never wear, he started wearing a condom. So every time they have sex, afterwards she'll feel a pain, and it had blisters down there. And then when she went on the internet, she found out she was, she was semen. She had semen allergies. So every time he come to her, or he had sex with her, she get blistered. So really, she was allergic to him. So they had to wear protection every time they had sex. She was burning and everything. And it's kind of retarded to me. How? <laughs> that, it's called strange sex. You? She was allergic to him. <laughs> Actually, we were like, she like, she found out she was allergic to her husband the whole time. So now they have to wear protection hats. So people are actually allergic. She's allergic to <laughs> nothing. Well, it, it's, it's a medical thing. A lot of women just found out they had it. And it was another woman. She get turned on while she's in the car. Or she's just sitting down. <laughs> or anything. Oh, it's, it's not funny. People get turned on. They might think about when they pass sexual intercourse or whatever. So she could be driving. Yeah, she said she had to play with herself at least thirty. Oh! She had at least thirty orgasms, thirty a day, fifty. Oh. I heard it twice, but thirty is too much. My body can't even handle all that. Wait a minute. So, hold on a minute. So you saying every time she think about it, it is. Oh, I got to tell you the other chick. Oh, Lord. The other chick, she was a nymphomaniac. Oh, Lord. That, that woman, she was a nymphomaniac, too. But this lady, she was having so much sex, she started masturbating at the age of three. And she didn't know what it was, why she was doing it, but it went so far that she started going to crack houses having sex. With her. <laughs> and her family was black men, so she had to have sex. She had went to therapy and everything. And why am I rubbing this like this on Remy? Anyway, it looked like some Remy and it looked like you were cancer patient. It did. It make it so bad. She was like, she had to have it. Like, if she has sex, she's going to have to have sex ten times a day. To myself, Nick, ladies, my walls have to be super tight. Get them bitches some room and let them rest. <laughs> All those key, like, I'm still wondering how the hell did that happen. But she was like, she had to have sex. And this black woman, she used to have dreams of having sex with a dude. But she be actually having sex with a dude. But she dreaming. Strange sex. Strange sex, I tell you. That's the name of the show called Strange Sex. And it scared me because I thought I was one of those people. Yeah. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not nympho at all. Can, can I say something? I'm going to say it Is it wrong that I thought about... <laughs> Like Elmo, Scotty. Go. When I was at church Sunday, and you were thinking about sex. <laughs> that woman, every time she was in church, she would think about it too. I mean, it's I Jamie like, Fox did. Oh, I preacher preach. I got on hard church. <laughs> no, no. Oh, what well, did you? Ah, get the camera. Me, it was Mary turned you on? <laughs> I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. I was just sitting there. It didn't make it. I know. I don't know what the it was. The devil got out of you, boy. That's I, what happened. I was just sitting there. The devil was trying to release Well, that was my first time going to church in almost a year, so whatever. But while I was sitting there, I, Lord, it's the wrong song to be playing. Yes. Yes, I did. I got hard on at church. I, I I was hard as a motherfucker. I was I had a wood. It was oh, it was just something else at church. I just couldn't believe I got me a hard on at church. He, mm, I don't know how to put this. I think that is just a an info. That is an info. Like I I'm I'm probably an info. I mean you know, I, I'm not going to condone. But, you know, that's my brother. He's an info. I'm an info. Root is an info. We all can Anyway, info. I was just sitting there and then... 
I felt myself getting on hard and hurt. So who was the best? No, you was probably the secret of all the um, head speech. So it was cold in there. I hope it was cold. No, it was not. <laughs> I could tell it wasn't because I had to pee. It was because of something else. I swear to God, it was hard as hell. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not a nymph or nothing, but some women, I never understood why she won't have sex ten times a day. I want it twice a day. Not twice a day. At least... This is on camera. I don't care. People have sex. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying. Everybody, everybody seems like sex is nasty to talk about. But I know. Hey, so. Mm -mm. I remember when I was. I'm kind of ashamed to say this because by the time you get in high school, that should you sh boys in particular shouldn't even be having those type of things going on. But I would say what I. I didn't know what the fuck a wedgery was when I was in 8th grade. One day I just woke up and I was just sticky as fuck. I asked my mom what the fuck was wrong with me. And then she goes like, you had a wet dream. What the fuck was wrong with you? <laughs> I, was, I didn't know what that was. Gotta hit a wedgery. Gotta hit a wedgery. <laughs> and then when I got in high school, like around the 9th grade, I wake up every morning sticky. <laughs> sticky. Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> like Robert said, morning dude. That was morning, dude, because I woke up every day. Morning wood. Yeah. Scott, you got morning wood. Oh, Lord, that was so embarrassing. It used to be um, embarrassing to talk about my first weird dream, but now it's not. It's kind of funny now that I really think about it, but you know what I mean. It's enjoyable what I'm talking about it with my friends. People just clean a hole in the slut. A hoe just sleep around, but at least they know who they sleep with. A slut just sleep with anybody. So... What? <laughs> like he tried to at first he tried to make it seem like Omar was worse than she was or some shit. That's why I'm like, well, I mean, whatever. Uh, how do I try to make it seem like Omar was worse than she was? I mean, the way you was talking, it did. But okay, you you wasn't. You didn't. You didn't, Reggie. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Leave alone. You didn't. Okay. I misread you. Cause I don't feel like he in your mouth now. Cause your he ass will go, like bitch. Fuck you. Before I hang up in your face. Uh, you must be on your way back to work. Six o three. Okay. I know you are playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Me on camera oh, drinking a damn Dr. Pepper. Right. I just want to get you up. That was so random. But I got to get up early in the morning. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, Can you not hear? I said shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck about you being grown. But I don't. But I don't. But I don't. But I don't. Lately, I've been having some issues with Robert. Um, He's been going through some things and... I kind of feel like I'm being ignored, so Jasmine decided to set up the meeting against my better judgment. I'd rather do it myself, but she decided she decided to do it, so we'll see how this go. And I'm not even friend of just sit up here and sugarcoat anything. I have been very mad with you for the past few days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's because, like, 
I un like it's like this. I know that you've been going through stuff for the last few days, but I kind of feel like you've been slick ignoring me or some shit like that. Like I've texted you twice this week, no response. The only time you talked to me was yesterday up on the Fox status, and you was like, "Well, I respond to your text message when I see it." And then I'm sitting up here like, "Okay, then." Hours went by. You didn't say anything to me, and then I was in the pit like, well, what the fuck? What, the, what, what did I do to Rob? But like, I mean, we was trying to invite you to Pizza Hut and stuff, you know, just to get your mind off shit, cause like you and Bobo was going through stuff, and I'm just saying, like, I just want to know what was wrong, cause you know what I'm saying? I just don't like the feeling of being ignored. So I felt like you was just pushing me away for whatever reason, cause I, I had noticed that you and Jasmine were still talking. So, you know, I was like, well, have you talked to Robert today? And she was like, yeah. And I'm like, well, damn, how come me and him ain't talking? So. And I was in the middle of a two-way love. <laughs> and it was like, and then she was I like, well, y'all need to have a conversation about it. And then I'm like, well, if we do have a, if I try to um have a conversation in about it. In the middle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, y'all need to have a conversation about it. And I said, well, if I try to have a conversation with him, he's not going to text me back. He's just going to ignore me. You pull out, huh? Okay. Huh? Huh? Really? Yeah, that's all I got to say. It ain't really no big, like, bitch, I'm going to fight you or we going to stop being friends. I just want <laughs> to put it all out on the table. Because the more, because... Jasmine know how I am. If I feel a certain way about a certain situation between me and a friend and I feel like some shit going wrong, the more I just let it, the more days go by, the more pissed I'm going to get. And one day I'll just blow up. Mm, and instead of... It's a fuck it mode. And, I'm and then, to. and I don't want to do that because we ain't never had no problem like that to the point where I just said, fuck, fuck Robert, fuck that black bitch. I don't want to fuck that shit. Him. <laughs> I don't fuck him. I don't give a fuck if we don't never be friends no more. That is not the case. That's the main reason why I talk to you because, hell, we ain't never had no issue. So I'm like, well, we could talk about it then. I just want to know what the hell going on because I just feel like I, I was being... Why didn't you do that? Because I read the shit. You like, look, it, the way you had texted me, you were like, look, I had been calling. I'm like, I had been trying to da 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 da. And I'm like, damn, he got an attitude this early in the damn morning? I slick did have an attitude. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to let that die down. I really want But that stuff don't die down, Scotty. You have to All address right. it. Mm -hmm. I was already pissed off for some reason. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to text, text this dude later when, I, when I'm ready to text him. And... And it's all for nothing. Oh, you nothing. The bitch, shut the fuck up. You're annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't text back because, hell, I, I ain't feel like I should have, like, having all that shit pent up. And, like, if I would have text back, that probably would have been a whole misunderstanding. Like, like, first of all, why the fuck you gotta be texting me with all this shit early in the damn morning? And I'm like, you know what? So we did that. And knowing your hostile black ass, yes, you are hostile. It you would have you would have been you would have sent the text to me. Would have heard some shit on Twitter. Probably would have made a Facebook status about it. <laughs> but I, I I was not gonna do that. What is he saying? I am not hostile at all. Am I hostile? I don't think so. Go ahead, Robert. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't. I just don't feel like talking. Sometimes. But you talk to Jazz Man. You didn't say nothing to <laughs> me. Why you say Jazz Man? Thing. Like that's why I had felt the way I did. Cause I'm like, hell, he talking to Jazz. If he like, if he don't want to talk, then I always felt like this. If you never felt like talking to nobody else, it'll either be me or Jazz Man or Regina. I thought it would be us three that you would be talking to, but now you ain't so you ain't saying nothing to me. You only talking to Jasmine. So I was like, well, maybe he just I don't know. Like I understand you ain't feel like talking, but hell, you talk to her. So why the hell can you talk to me? I understand nobody else that that we hang around, but this is me we talking about. This is me. This is two and a half years. This is me I'm talking about. Why the hell weren't you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Business hours, twelve to twelve to twelve. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> 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 but like, when, like, 
What you had text me? That morning, like it was at eight. Okay, I'm not fully functional at eight. That's me probably going to sleep at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm not gonna be in my best state of mind. She takes me was like what two. But see, the only reason why I texted you at eight was because I had texted you already that night, and I ain't getting no response. And I saw that you being wide. I don't know if you're wide awake or not, but I see you constantly commenting on this motherfucking status. I'm like, he can comment on the status, but he can't comment on no text. Me, all I asked was, was you busy tomorrow? That's all I asked, and you ain't say shit. That's all I'm saying. That's the only reason why I texted you at eight o'clock that morning. Cause just to see you come in on that status and not say nothing to me just 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 took me to another place. I know sometimes it's gonna rain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that <sounds funny> me. <laughs> like, I just think y'all need to have this conversation. And I'm like, it's not that serious. But they need again, to be hashed out at the same time because like just like you be saying you be put in the middle between Bobo and Reggie I was gonna be honest just cause it started a few weeks ago when you was when we was all on the three way and we was like um Scott said I have to ask Jazz what the fuck wrong with Robert <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hold on, let me see. And then he'll tell me, uh, he'll tell you, but he won't tell me with his black ass. <laughs> you won't. Most times I do say, what's wrong, Rob? You don't want to know. That's every time I ask. So that's why I don't never ask. I ask Jazz man. <sighs> what? That time you really didn't want to know. No, I'm just saying, every time. Okay, I remember what happened. I don't even know what happened. I still don't know what happened because he said I didn't want to know. So I guess I didn't want to know. <laughs> anyway, um. That's why I don't know how to approach you when you mad. I just don't say nothing. You <laughs> just say something about a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> me and Robert's room, we really do have a brother to brother relationship. One minute we don't get along, the next minute we do, and that's just what that was. So after we had that conversation, you know, everything is good between me and Robert. They're still my black ass brother, and it is what it is.